Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guys, I've been up since about 3.30 a.m. this morning. And um, usually when I get up like that, I can't go back to sleep. I have to get myself adjusted since surgery, since I had surgery. So um, I get up and go to the bathroom. And and um, this morning I got, I got the stove. I've got to make me a cup of coffee. I wanted to talk to you um I haven't been making any videos. It's just been a lot. I've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking about things that have taken place, things that have gone on, that has been going on. Even my Facebook friends haven't really seen me post uh, like I was in the hospital. And every post that I had put up in the hospital, I took down off of Facebook. And um, first, before I get into this video, I want to thank you for those who have subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like, comment. And uh, make sure you make sure you hit that bell notification for post uh, future videos. I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit. So let's go ahead and get in this video. All right. So since I had the surgery, let me tell y'all how I really been feeling. What's been really going on uh, a lot in my mind has been going on. If you've had surgery, if you had any kind of minor setback or, you know, you've been down for a little bit, then you would understand where I'm coming from. I'm sorry about the lighting. This little, I don't feel like pulling out the ring light. I just want to sit here in my chair and I'm using my little bitty light to just give me some lighting. But the most important thing is the things I'm going to talk about in the video. So try to, to stay with me there. Okay. All right. So since I had the surgery and, uh, well, basically since I got home, uh, from the hospital, it just seemed like some things changed. You know, the people really that, and then I'm going somewhere with this, that you thought would still be here for you, would be here for you like they were. And it's, it's really not like that. Um, and I kind of figured that's how it was going to be when I got home. I kind of figured I was going to be pretty much just trying to make it the best I can with the help that I have, um, which is not a lot, you know. But at the same time, you have to realize that people have lives. You know, um, I was angry. I got angry for a little bit because having back surgery takes a lot out of you. It is your strength. I can't, I've had some rough nights. I've had some rough days. Um, getting dressed is a challenge trying to fix stuff to eat is a challenge. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that I don't get some type of help. My my daughter here tries to help me, but at the same time, she got her own two kids. You know, she has her own family, and I respect that. You know, I, my daughter who stayed with me in the hospital, I thank God for what she did. And I understand she have other obligations. You know, my mother, I understand, you know, she have other obligations. You know, it's just... Your mind tells you that, man, you would have thought that, that people would have been here for you. you. You start feeling sorry for yourself. You start getting into this pity party. You start feeling some type of way, and that's how I was feeling. I was starting to feel like I'm on my own on this. You know, I have to get it like I live it. That's how my mind started being set up. So anyway, let's fast forward with it. Um, I have uh, possibly a UTI. And that just added more pain to my body. Going to the bathroom, I've had to go in the night. I go to the restroom about six or seven times. And that could have came from the catheter. We're just not positive on that. But anyway, they're running tests on that. But the, I won't be able to get anything to help me to, to get that well until uh, Monday. Because uh, it's the weekend and my doctor's uh, out of town. So with that going on, having to go to and from the restroom all night long, I'm not really getting the rest that I would I need. I'm not really getting the sleep that I need. It, that's a challenge. You know, that's a challenge. Um, every now and then, I turn wrong. Uh, getting in and out the bed is a challenge because you have to do what's called a log roll. And I panic. When I try to do the log roll, I actually panic. Like trying to turn over is a challenge, you know. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, you know, that has been rough. But once I'm in the bed, I I'm okay. I get in a position, a fetal position, and I try to just stay there until it's time to wake up to go to the bathroom. But, okay, um, let me tell you what else has been going on. 
it's cold <laughs> it's very cold so I have new hardware in my back they actually put me four brand new screws and I'll go ahead and if I have a picture I'll put it on the screen so I have four screws four brand new screws in my back which every time it gets cold they're going to be affected because they're metal and they get cold. I don't care if they cover covered up with flesh, blood, or whatever. They still seem to get cold and it just feels like an ice pack in your back. That's how I feel. And so let me tell y'all, um, past even that, I had just been sitting up thinking how God actually saved my life. You know, I can't, I can't get past that. And, and the reason I can't get past that is because I was literally... I was dying and I don't know how, um, I don't know if my family really knew they may have, I'm sure, but I was so out of it that, um, uh, the whole time that this event was going on in the hospital with my blood pressure dropping in between 80 over 28, my heart rate was dropping the enemy was trying to kill me in the hospital. But even though I was having these symptoms, I was not showing any symptoms. Like, I seemed to have been fine. It seemed like everything was okay. I felt like, you know, they, they kept looking for me to have some type of a symptom. My heart rate was dropping down to 30, you know. But I'll tell you this. Now, as I sit and had time to realize that it was nobody but God who kept his powerful hand on me. It was nobody but God that protected me while I was in the hospital. It was nobody but God um, that did not allow my blood pressure to get so low that I that my heart stopped, you know? And I just, I can't thank him enough. You know, let me tell you something. As I was going through uh, Facebook, I had seen this beautiful, beautiful soul named Aaliyah Mills. And um, I know she's been going through. And I know her family is going through. So keep them in your prayers. But I see a blessing in what she's going through. I see God just working behind the scenes in her life. You know, I see God doing great and miraculous works in her life. You know, we don't see God moving in the midst when we're going through something. We don't see the hand of God moving. But by faith, if you just believe that God is moving, he is in control of the situation. You know, sometimes we have to uh, go through some broken stuff. Sometimes we have to allow the broken pieces of our lives physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally be fixed by God. And let me tell you something. In the midst of fixing, there is going to be some pain, you know, even though mine's is physical pain, there is going to be some pain because it was painful when it broke. It was painful when it broke. It was painful when you go through it. But when God begins to put his hands on it, when he fixes it, you have to acknowledge that it's nobody but God, nobody but God. And I just wanted to, you know, this morning just... Hopefully, just telling somebody that that they will know that whatever your situation is, no matter what it is, people will see the symptoms of a downfall. They'll see the symptoms of the pain. They'll see the symptoms of what would cause them to question is how is she living or how is she dealing with this or how is she going through when she still looks the same, when she still look like ain't nothing happening. That's when the hand of God is covering you. That's when the hand of God is on, on the scene. That's when the hand of God is moving. When people can't understand so that God may get the glory and be glorified through our situations. You know, um, I just thank God for those that have been praying for me. And, uh, you know, I still have a long road ahead of me as far as healing goes. But every day I'm able to look back on how God hand kept me, on how God protected me, even in surgery. I just, I'm able to look back and be grateful that God let me live, you know, that God allowed me to still be alive because there is work, there's work for me to do. And don't feel sorry for me. 
you know, every tear that you see is not a pity. I'm through with the pity party. You know, I heard a man of God say, do not walk around in the, do not walk around in victimization, walking around as a victim, but walk around as a victor, being knowing that you are victorious. You know, when he said that, something in me just like lit up. And I was like, you know, I'm not walking in the mental mindset of a victim because I'm not a victim. And those who God have assigned to be a help to me, those are the ones that God will allow to help me. You know, because the ones you think that should be there to help you could actually be the ones that hinder you, you know, or could be the ones that they're not going to feel what you feel. They're going to go on with their lives. They're not going to, you know, it's not even their responsibility to care for you, you know. So God is doing the work in me. You know, God is, is, is doing what he has to do to get me where he wants to get me to. But I just wanted to, you know, come on here and just make this video and just share with you, um, what God has done, how I'm feeling, um, my recovery, you know, I'm in therapy. They come to my house. I have a nurse that comes, uh, twice, a, twice a week. I have OT and PT, so they going to get me right. And today, like without them coming, I have to get out there and walk and push myself to better myself. So anything that you're coming back from, honey, you got to rehabilitate yourself, whichever kind of way that may be. So, Thank you again for taking out the time to watch the video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure if you haven't subscribed that you do subscribe. And make sure that you, um, like again, hit that post notification bell. I love you. God bless you. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again. Bye. I love you guys. <laughs>